I'm Beth Parker, the Opera Lady, and I am here in Pittsburgh Opera's fabulous new headquarters at 2425 Liberty Avenue in Pittsburgh's Strip District. And with me, I have Iris Lynn, who is an artistic and production department volunteer, and Iris has offered to get her hair cut today to support Locks of Love. And with me here is James Geyer, who is our wig master and makeup designer for Pittsburgh Opera. And we are getting ready for our production of Samson and Delilah, which is opening on October 18th. And we thought it would be really great because, as you all know, the story of Samson and Delilah includes a really bad haircut. And it's a disaster for the unfortunate Samson. He also gets his eyes poked out. Not a good day for him. And so, with locks of love, though, people can be really heroic themselves and get their hair cut. These, uh, once Iris's hair is cut, will be sent to a center um, where locks of love will make her hair into a wig. And these wigs are given to children or, or sold to them on a sliding scale. Children who have lost their hair either through some kind of a medical condition or through some kind of treatment like radiation treatment. And so this is a really great thing that Iris is doing. And I want to ask you, Iris, have you gotten your hair cut for locks of love before? Yes, several times, about three to four times in the past couple years. And how long does it take you to, cut, to grow your hair out this long? Uh, this much in a year and a half. Excellent. So how much hair do we have here, James? That's fast hair growth. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> we have, I, I think I'm going to cut about 12 inches, 10 inches is the minimum required. But because it's slightly layered at the end, I'm, I'm giving them a good 12 or 13 inches. So I'll cut right above the elastic. Okay. So now if somebody else wants to get their hair cut for locks of love, it needs to be in a ponytail or braid, it needs to be uh, 10 inches long, and they also say that if somebody has curly hair, you can straighten it out, okay? And then, and it has, the hair has to be clean. I take it your hair is clean today, Iris? <laughs> Excellent. The hair has to be clean, and it, ha and it can be dyed but not bleached. And if anybody who has gray in their hair wants to donate, of course, they can't use that for children's wigs, but they will accept the hair, and then they will sell it to help support the charity. So, James, take it away. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot to do something. You're going to give a lesson to Frank Peretta, our Samson. Oh, that's come on right. into the it's Come on time, in into Frank. the picture, Frank. This is Frank Peretta, who's the star. Now, in the opera Samson and Delilah, Frank is the one who actually gets his hair cut. So, Frank, we're giving you a chance to get some of your own bet and cut a girl's hair. All right. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for your hey, lesson? <laughs> Scissors. Oh, I'm. No, I'm doing. You're gonna do this. This is what you'll be okay. using, and about an inch above the elastic, where it's tightly bound here. Okay. And you'll just start from the right, going this direction. Mm -hmm. Literally, sort of, not hacking, but cutting. Okay. So. Here we go. Drum roll. Keep smiling, Iris. There you go. <laughs> Now you said that um, Iris's hair is very thick, right? That's thick. incredible hair. Beautiful. Oh my God. Very, very well, look at that. Hold up, hold up that beautiful hank of hair so we can see it. Yay! <laughs> and what a cute cut. Yeah. I made it myself. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Talk about a natural for the role of Samson. I'll <laughs> stop the tape there for a second. Do you mind this color? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> This is Chantal Bernicki, and Chantal came forward for the community um, to help support also our effort for Locks of Love. And because she came and had her hair cut here, she's getting two free tickets to opening night of Samson and Delilah, and she's coming to the Opera Blast, the great after party. Great. Okay. So, now you said that you have never gotten your hair cut for Locks of Love before, is that correct? That's correct. It's the first time and hopefully not the last one. And what motivated you to do this? Um, unfortunately, I know a lot of people that have um, suffered from cancer and, of course, losing their hair in the process. So I thought anything I could do, uh, I thought that Lux of Love was an amazing um, way to donate my hair and help alleviate a little bit of the burden, perhaps. So. Well, thanks. That's really great. And you're going to suffer for the art, too, because Frank <laughs> is going to give you your hair cut pretty soon. Okay, Frank the Tank. Take it away there, babe. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So, are you ready? OK, 
me to your heart. I trust you. Yeah, here we go. Revenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. He's cutting, he's cutting. Excellent. It's taking a really long so time. so much of it. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. There Hold you up. go. Yay! <laughs> and now your superpowers are gone. Oh. <laughs> well, I think, Frank, I think she deserves a kiss for that. Oh. 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 Thank you so much.